ride for on the DSR the zero DSR um, I made some adjustments to the screen in a week and I really wanted to test it out um, to see if I could get the screen a little bit more upright and the little adjustment uh, worked perfect so um, I'm happy I'm happy with that did about what about 32 miles now um, I'm here in Marlborough this is a really nice morning and uh, you can see I'll show you around the screen in a few in a few minutes Just a quick little look around the 2020 DSR with a dual sport screen on that I fitted. It's looks very nice with the screen on. I just want to give you a quick update on what I adjusted on the screen. So what I found is the screen was very tilted too far backwards. It was pretty much about there. It felt like it, it was really sort of hitting just under my, um, sort of under my chin. And it was quite uncomfortable. So um, what I found is because I had these things it was moved out like that. And that caused the ball, the ball joints here, not to be able to um, give me any leverage further upwards. So what I did is I moved them further in. As you can see, but they're now pretty much almost parallel. And then this allows the ball joints to um, give you more movement into the forward position. So that's actually quite nice. And I think what I can do further, if I loosen it even further and move it further in, this will then move the ball joint sort of a little bit further to this side and then I would be able to get even more um, more forward adjustment on the screen. So I might try that out later but what I want to do is I want to get myself a little cheap torque wrench 
So when I tighten these bolts, I know exactly uh, what torque they're at, both sides at the same time. I don't really wanna um, tighten them and then uh, for some bizarre reason, uh, the handlebar comes loose or whatever. Um, but I did check them before the ride and I did check them twice after I fitted the screen that, that all the bolts, the front ones, the side ones, both sides and then these two are tightening tightened properly and it's really nice and solid now it hits me in the half of my helmet so if you look at my helmet here it sort of hits me here and I'm 5'11 so yeah I'm very happy with the screen at the moment it's nice and relaxed all the pressure of the wind is off your chest and onto your helmet I'm happy with that visiting the local charge point just to see if it's all working still fine, because it's quite quite a nice, um, there's a nice little tea room here that you can go come and visit, and, it's, and the high street has got usually nice shops in, so um, I was checking the charge point out and see if it's still operation, so if I do bring uh, friends and family here, uh, it's quite nice to uh, plug in, top up for like a half an hour to an hour, get some free juice, or not free juice, but you pay for the juice, and uh, carry on. But yeah, it looks like um, the one side is dead and the other side is flashing red. So it's probably only the one, the one um, 7.2 kilowatt side of the charger is working. Not good because there's only one box. But still really nice morning out. There's not a breath of wind. It's quite, um, quite, quite, quite damp. Got a lot of dampness in the air, but it's calm. And it's really nice and warm. It's about 18. 18 to 20 degrees and it's eight o'clock in the morning so beautiful ride out so i'm gonna head home and then um, enjoy the rest of my sunday so uh hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you on the next ride I said